this queen bee is failing. I'm looking in these cells. I don't know if you can see them on camera or not, but there's multiple eggs in many of these cells. Occasionally, a new queen might make that mistake, but I'm seeing it made too often here with this queen. I think it's time to requeen. Right, the queen in this hive, tell us what happened with the queen in this hive. It is laying multiple cell eggs in a cell. Yeah. So we decided we better requeen. We didn't kill the queen. We just put her in a nuke box somewhere else. So now we're going to check on the queen cells that they made as a response from removing the queen. Alright, let's take out uh, the feeder first. That'll probably be easiest to take that out. And then we can sort through those. What if they make the queen one that has multiple eggs in it? Uh, well, I think the bees are probably smart enough to just pick a cell that has one egg. Uh, I think they'll figure it out. They know what to do. We're taking out the feeder right now. Okay. Which, which frame do you think that a queen cell should be on? Now, that's a good question. I don't remember. We're just going to have to sort through them because I don't remember uh, which one it was. Yeah. Do you want to let Kai do some, E? Oh, yeah. Um, so, okay, I'll do this one. So, you take it and you take this and you put it in there and then you like that on both sides and then take it out. So you pry it with the pry tool and then you take it out with your hands, is that right? Yes. So you take it, take it out. Is it on there? Nope. Not that one. All right, try another one. Ooh, is that a good brood pattern? Will you show us? Yeah, it's a pretty good brood pattern. That's so spotties. for the queen bees that's laying multiple eggs and cells, that's not bad. We'll keep looking. It might be in the box below, too. I don't know. Let's see the other side of it. Turn it around, Kyle. We'll see the other side. Okay, it's not on there. I think, and it's probably not on the ones by the edges. The, you typically wouldn't have brood over there. Put yeah, just put those edge. back in, and we'll look in the bottom box. Would it do, make any disruptions if I put it on the other side? No, not really. Uh, we'll put that frame of brood back in the middle, but it's yeah. not real specific right now because there's not even a queen bee in there. So just put them back in somehow. Just well, we'll just hand them back to you in the order you took them out, and then they'll be pretty close. Alright, so the feeder's going back in on the other side of the box, but that's okay. It's okay. It's a feeder. <laughs> Alright, crack those two boxes apart. You're going to have to lift it though. Alright, I'll lift. You apply the leverage and I'll lift. Alright, we got it. Okay, let's. Uh, we need some more smoke there. Is the smoker still going? All right, Kai, you put the smoke on them, move the bees out of the way, and then we'll take the frame down. It's hard to do with gloves, huh? Okay, that ought to do it. I All right. think it might be on this one. All right, start on the edge then. So the one that you think there might be queen cells on, we'll take that one out when we have space so we don't smash them on the way out, right? So take out one next to it first. Start with this one first. Use your, uh, there you go. Uh -huh. That one I think's got lots of pollen. It feels heavy, it's pollen, yeah. See all that pollen in there? Mm -hmm. All right, next. Broke open some drone cells. Look for mites while those are broken open. That's a good opportunity to look and see if there's any mites. All right, we're looking for mites on those broken open drone cells, and I don't see any. 
Oh, I'm just looking for mites. That's the purple eye stage when the, they call this, the eyes are purple. That's called the purple eye stage. Is it just for drones or do both? Uh, both. Do yeah, both of them will go through that. Okay, we found some. Did we find some? All right, handle that frame gently. Here's the queen her. cell there and there. And there's another one there. This one was one. It got broken down. Maybe it was damaged. I don't know. But there's three. There's three cells there. There's and on the other side, I don't see. Yeah, there's two at the bottom on the other side. You, uh -huh. Yep, right there. Those are some queen cells. So here's an example of an emergency queen cell. All around this cell is workers. Worker cells. Worker larvae. And they've floated one of the worker larvae out to the surface of the comb and then turned it downward into a queen cell. On this frame, we have a couple of emergency queen cells. Here you can see worker size cells around them and they've floated the larva out to the face of the comb and then turned the cell downward into queen cells. It takes 16 days from the time the egg is laid for a queen bee to emerge from her cell. So if we were to make this colony queenless, which we did a week ago, there's seven days. How many more days do we need until those queens would emerge from these cells? So we need uh, nine more days. And then after that, we're going to uh, wait for the queen to go on her mating flight, which will be another five to seven days. Let's figure one week case it was bad weather on day five or six and then another three to five days before she starts laying eggs so let's count another another uh, ten days to two weeks after that we should see eggs and we'll move this we'll give it a wiggle so the bee gets out of the way is it out of the way you say when okay. all right now let me give you the lid Sure. Do the same with the lid so you don't smash bees, and we're all done for now. No, I, I don't want to kill a bee. I don't want to murder a bee. Okay, good job.